In this video, we're going to solve the equation. The square root of x minus 1 times the square root of 4 minus x squared equals the square root of x squared minus 1 times the square root of 4 minus x. So let's look at the domain of everything. So the first square root, square root of x minus 1, tells us that the inside has to be bigger than or equal to 0. That means that x is bigger than or equal to 1. So that is one condition we have. So the next square root tells us that 4 minus x squared has to be bigger than or equal to 0. It tells us that x squared is less than or equal to 4 which means that x is between negative 2 and 2. The third square root tells us that the inside is bigger than or equal to 0. That means that x squared is bigger than or equal to 1. That means that x is bigger than or equal to 1, or x is less than or equal to negative 1. And the last square root tells us that 4 minus x is bigger than or equal to 0. That means that x is less than or equal to 4. Okay. We have four conditions. And so let's put them all together. So we're anding them. Okay, x is bigger than or equal to 1. And we have x is less than or equal to negative 1. So these can't work together. Okay, so now we have x is bigger than or equal to 1. And, and negative 2, x is between negative 2 and 2. That means that x has to start with 1. is less than or equal to x. is less than or equal to 2. And we have x is less than or equal to 4. And this checks, but it can't be 4. It has to be 2. So the final domain is x is between 1 and 2. Okay. So now let's first check when x equals 1. So when x equals 1, we get 0 equals 0. So that actually works. That means that x equals 1 is a solution. So now let's check when x is not equal to 1. So we have the square root of x minus 1. Square root of x minus 1 e times square root of 4 minus x squared equals we can factor the square root of x squared minus 1 into the square root of x minus 1 times the square root of x plus 1 times the square root of 4 minus x. Now we can divide the square root of x minus 1 because x does not equal 1. And let's square both sides, leaving us with 4 minus x squared equals x plus 1 times 4 minus x, which is 4x minus x squared plus 4 minus x. 4 minus x squared will cancel on both sides, and the left-hand side is equal to 0. That means that 3x equals 0, which means that x equals 0. But our domain is x is between 1 and 2, which means the only solution we have is x equals 1. And that is the end of the video.